Kansas City could be on the move, according to President Mark Donovan. Uh, so, obviously, we talked about the franchise wants to facilitate the $800 million in upgrades to Arrowhead Stadium, which would help the Hunt family that owns the team and uh, help, the uh, obviously, the citizens and the people who go to these games. Um, so, essentially, what the fight is right now, taxpayers could cover the other $500 million because apparently the, the Hunts will kick in $300 million to that. So, the taxpayers would be uh, picking up the other $500 million bucks. Um, the Chiefs hope the voters will okay a 40 year extension of a three eighths of a cent sales tax in Jackson County, one that costs residents a 38, 38 percent per every hundred dollars they spend in the county. Uh, Chiefs President Mark Donovan told the city's NBC affiliate last week that if voters didn't extend the tax, the Chiefs would quote, we we'll just have to look at all of our options. A reporter asked if that meant leaving the Kansas City team, um, that has always called the home Kansas City. Tom had said, I think they would have to include leaving Kansas City as a part of an option there. Um, he then said team would be willing to accept a deal to stick around its home city. So, J.D., what are your thoughts on this whole deal, This uh, poten- on the potential of moving Kansas, uh, leaving Kansas City? Because that, that part to me kind of scares me a little bit, but I also no, love the D.C. Listen, area, which uh, listen, the D.C. team is in Maryland. So, Listen, I'm, 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 this, this is going to be short and sweet, okay? Short and sweet. Uh Kansas City Chiefs are not leaving Kansas City. They're not. Mark Donald, he's supposed to say these things, right? All options are open, whatever, but they'll work this thing out. It always gets worked out. It always gets worked out. Uh, for the simple fact, uh, Lamar wouldn't want something like that happening. Clark don't let those things happen. And so I, I can never see Kansas City, the, the Chiefs or the Chiefs leaving Kansas City. You know, I know, I know this is part of like just business talk, and you know, we gotta leave all options open because you, you can't say be definitive on anything. Well, we leave all options open, right? You know, we, we don't know what that means, and it's like open ended, like okay, you know, ambiguity. What, what what do you mean you might leave it Kansas City? It ain't going nowhere. No, it, it it just it wouldn't make any sense. It wouldn't make any sense to do something like that. These things will get worked out. This is a whole different thing from, you know, fans and whatnot. And now did you get into, you know, the, the building structure and, and, you know, you're talking about, you know, the, the, the local government on doing things and municipalities, it all get, they'll get worked out. Hey, look, a few dinners, a couple of handshakes, <laughs> politicians, everything's going to be a okay. It's going to be all right. So this to me is, you know, it's just kind of talk. Fans and and don't 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 worry yourself over any of this, man. They'll work these things out. I will say, going from yeah, uh, politics talk. Yeah, that's what it is. That's yeah, true. Yeah, yeah. Um, but I will say, being in the D.C. area my entire life, that you know that that the, they haven't they haven't played in D.C. since what like the mid '90s with RFK, where it was like '95. Mm-hmm. And so they play at FedEx Field, which is one of the worst stadiums in the in the league. That's in Landover, Maryland, which is like a, like a like a forty five minute like drive from DC. So there's other teams who do play in other cities that are deemed another city. So like I, I hope Kansas City's not doesn't become one of those though, because I mean that every day there's a new argument from Virginia, Maryland, and DC of trying to win over that state, the, bring the Redskins or sorry the Commanders back to a, a, that area. So I just hope that that doesn't happen in Kansas City. Well, if if you ever been RFK, you you know where that is and whatnot. I, I can see, yeah. Where, <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> it, it caught a whole lot of people off. Like, oh, man, where are we at? You know. <laughs> the, DC, the DC Defenders and DC United uh, play like right down the street from RFK. Oh, do they? The Audi okay. Stadium. It's like right down the street from it. Oh, awesome. Okay, good, good. It it, it, it it's. It, they're cleaning up a little bit. It, it's it, it's they're, they're starting to make their way to kind of like clean it up a little bit. But yeah, beautiful, beautiful. Yeah, <laughs> it's historic. Remember, it's a historic. It is historic. It is historic. I you know when I was playing in Philly, we we used to get on the train, come down to play the West oh, really? Yeah, oh, we get on. Okay. Yeah, we get on the train, and so and then bust it over, and so we start driving through. I'm like, where are we at? <laughs> <laughs> He started looking out the window. He was like, what's, what's going on? No, he said nothing wrong about D.C. Yeah, I love the city. I love the D.C. is a good city to me. I love it. Uh, but Kansas City, man, I don't think it's, this, this, is, this is a nothing burger right here. They'll get these things worked out. Like I said, a couple of dinners, 
um, you know, a couple of good at glad hands working these things. Uh, the fans, they're listening to the fans. The fans have a, uh, a very, very loud voice. Okay. And I'm going to let y'all know that Clark and those, the Hunt family listens to this. They do. They listen to everything. And so uh, I think they understand that uh, where everybody wants to be. Um, you know, just the, the the history that you have there. But shoot, I, I think this is this is something that nobody has to worry about right now. They don't. Yeah. It's all good. Yeah. A little bit of scare tax or tactics on both sides. You got one side yeah. saying all options are the table, maybe even living in Kansas City. And the other side that wait, we're gonna pay more. We're, we're not paying 38 cents for every hundred dollars. No, we're not doing that. So it's all negotiations, it's negotiate yeah. whatever, right? And so you you'll we'll see this, we'll we'll see this happening as well. Uh just part of that. Like Ginger said, is uh, uh, politics. Yeah, politics talk. So you know yeah. the, the, the suits will handle all of that, they'll handle it. Well, yeah. Like yeah, yeah, they don't know. Yeah, a lot of people don't know. But they don't, but yeah. Well, Lance, our, our friend from Lance's uh, the spoken podcast, he uh, he said, uh, "I'll see you. Uh, we'll see the Chiefs in Kansas in uh, in five years." Hmm. So I don't know. Yeah, I I, I thought you know when I saw that today, I was like, "Whoa, what's, what's going on here?" Um, you know, so I, I had to be a top of the show with Kansas City Chiefs leaving Kansas City. Well, okay, so here I, I don't see, you know, when you're talking about projecting putting eight hundred million dollars into a stadium, and then you're thinking about moving in five years, like why why invest that much money into doing something now? You might as well just bring Graham and say, But look, we're not gonna do any of those things. We're gonna change nothing up. And let's just go ahead and build a new stadium and be done in like two years. Okay. Yeah. We're gonna break new ground if that's gonna be the case. But I don't think it's the case, man. They throwing, you know, their own money in it, you know, also too. So uh, it just makes more sense, and I and I can't wait to see how this thing looks. Uh, I think twenty twenty six, everything's projected to be done, be finished. I think is that, is that is that the time period? I think time period, yeah, for everything to be done, like this whole new facility. I, I watched all of it, man. It, it looks beautiful. How they're gonna have it done? Uh, election day April second for the tax. Oh, here you. Oof, here we go. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah, two so. weeks, two weeks for that. That's why no wonder why all this stuff's coming out like two weeks beforehand. Yeah, get, 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 get it. Get it. Right Yes, yeah, slide it in. Here we go. Let's, let's throw this in as as uh one of the issues and topics, right? <laughs> hey, do you vote on this and be oh okay? I see. <laughs> right. So so you think at the end of the day, Kansas City Chiefs will be staying in Kansas City in the air in Arrowhead Stadium. Yeah. G H A Stadium. I do. Yeah, G H A Stadium. Yes. <laughs> I do. I do. Hi, everybody. Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get the latest from the show. Also, be sure to check out the best clips from Chief Concerns. And if you prefer to listen to the show, subscribe and follow us on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and anywhere else you get your podcasts.